And I thought, how interesting. So here's a group of women that was getting some bad information, poor things. But this lady was right on in her research. She was discovering that the adrenal glands are a big part of the controlling mechanism of the kidneys, which control the body's lymphatic system, which is in the presence of all cancers. You always have lymph stagnation in the presence of cancer because cancer is simply a damaged cell by acids. That's it. It mutates the cell and you can get into genes and all that crap, but it's all ridiculous because that's a no road to nowhere. It'll bring you right back to the start again. Just like this, it'll go right back to the start again. And it's going back, you've got to fix your problem. That's your adrenal glands. Get your kidney and adrenal glands in line. Get them filtering, my man. And fix the reason why you had this cancer, whichever one it was. It's always lymph. Even blood leukemias are very common to be lymphatically created. And that's a bit part of the chronic fatigue is the adrenals. They bleed brain chronic fatigue on virals like Epstein-Barr and this kind of crap. Easy to clean virals out of the body. But the adrenals... That's your autonomic nervous system, and that is your epinephrines, your adrenalines, your epinephrines, norepinephrines. So when your adrenals are down, you're always fatigued. Well, you would be, especially off of meat, which has full of neurotransmitters. When you're on meat, you're really moving. That's the problem. This is the other bad thing about the protein called meat. It's full of neurotransmitters. Well, the same thing happens to your adrenal medulla that happens to the cortex. When you're taking steroids, you lose your adrenals. And the same thing eating uh, meat full of epinephrine, you lose your adrenals. And then when you don't have it, you feel like you're really tired. And the fruits and vegetables must not be giving me any nutrition or energy because I'm really tired. No, that's not the case. It is all about the adrenal glands and neurotransmitters. It's a neurological fatigue. And that's, uh, you just have to rectify the adrenals. You can use glandulars or, or herbs, but get your kidneys and move your lymph because you're a post-cancer case and uh, really want to fix your body up there. So definitely appreciate your welcome aboard here. Thanks for the post and get your health together on yourself there. Now listen to the recommendations of protocols here because I use about the same protocol on everybody. Oh my God, did I give you a clue on one of the questions? <laughs> Hi, Dr. Morris. Love all your videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope so. Um, never get old. Thanks. Appreciate that. Even though I sound like a broken record. I appreciate it. Thank you, Luke Lear. Uh, I haven't talked to you in a while. I have huge tonsils in my throat for about 15 years. Right now, I'm 30 years old. Well, you know, hypertrophy, swelling is called hypertrophy, swelling. That's your lymph. Get your lymph moving. Get fix up the trunk here. Remember all the lymphatic one capsules, stomach and bowel capsules, GI broom. Fix this trunk. Get the kidneys and adrenals. You'll start moving those out. The tonsils will unswell, uh, just like prostates, uh, congestive heart failures, and everything else. Same type of thing. Yeah, I think I've addressed this before. Uh, right now, oh yeah, you're on 17 herbs. You don't have to take that many herbs. I got, but your tonsils have no way but to go down with that many. I've got to draw this to a close here, but I really want to thank all of you. Here's Spam Ann. Hi, Dr. Morris. Hi, Annie. Uh, thanks for your previous replies. Really cool that you're doing this. Thank you so much. It's cool that you're listening. I appreciate all of you. Uh, yourself there. I have a question. Did you ever hear about hydrogen peroxide treatment? We use it here a little bit. I have a gallon sitting in the refrigerator and I just, you know what, I'm real cautious with that because of the burn of that. Uh, I teach people to deep breathe, clean the lungs, get oxygenated that way. I prefer a hyperbaric chamber over a, a hydrogen peroxide therapy, but yes, we have used it here. Uh, but, you know, we use the bicarbonates. I mean, we used a lot of things. But there's nothing works any better than right to point, right on point. Get the kidneys filtering through getting the adrenal glands up. Get, start pulling on that lymph system. Clean up the gut. And boy, you're assured to get yourself well. Just a matter of time there. So uh, sorry about I just don't have enough time to finish up. But we're pretty close to getting caught up here. So thank you so much. 
You all are just great souls. It's always a humbling pleasure to address and be with you. And I, again, appreciate you in the class. That was a lot of fun. We always have fun in our classes, I think. Uh, of course, I'm a little prejudiced. But um, I hope to see a lot of you in September. We've opened up September as a date to have uh, another class. But I think our January class will be level two. Uh, we just have to get you guys uh, more savvy on these protocols and spending more time in clinical practice. So we're going to, our level two will be like you're practicing clinically. We're going to get a little more in depth there. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go to lunch, have me a big salad and off to the afternoon. See you later. Love you all. Namaste. Have a fun day. Bye -bye. That was a quick, I'm gone. Before I close on this one, though, I would just had setting this up here, and I just pulled it to look at it. <laughs> I, I, I love this one. The Moo 1231. Let me see. That's three, six, seven. Yep. Good cycle there. Hello. It is true. Is it true that eating fruit depresses the immune system? There is a study. Oh. Oh my God, there's a study out. Oh my God. Neuro, uh, oh, <laughs> neurotrophilactic uh, phagocytosis study, which shows that sugar and starch dramatically damages the white blood cells, including eating fruit, fructose. Interesting, isn't it? Well, I don't think we would have a primate family. I don't think we would have half the humans on the planet if that was true. That's another real stupid, stupid study that all the people involved must have had their heads up their ass so far they couldn't see the light of day. That's ridiculous. But then there's a theory that white blood cells really shouldn't be there at all. There's that theory too. There's a lot of theories out there. And that the right blood cells show pathology. How interesting is that, huh? So, I mean, there's all kinds of studies. Which one would you believe? If anybody believes that kind of crap, they're full of crap. That is just so untrue, it's not even funny. Oh, half of you wouldn't be getting better. You'd all be dead. Fruits are destroying your white blood cells. Oh, would we see that in the blood work? Oh, my God, all the white blood cells would be dead. That study was stupid. There's nothing there. You'd have to read the study to see how stupid this study is. Oh, my God, here's the website. I'm not going to waste my friggin' time. You know, I wouldn't, you wouldn't waste your time on thinking like this. That's crazy. That, that's insane, to be honest with you. That, 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 is, that is illogical. Look around. You know, it's not even, I've done blood work for 40 years. Uh, I used to rip chemistry apart. Never saw a stupid, stupid thing. Those people are just stupid people. I'm sorry. That was just, that study should have been burnt in a trash can. Oh my God, fruit destroys the white blood cells. Well, if they, if they saw that in study, then it would go a long way to saying white blood cells shouldn't be there at all, really. Maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe we don't have an ounce of understanding of the real truth. Maybe what we know isn't really truth at all. Maybe we can't even talk about anything here but just eat your foods and live your life. You see what I'm saying? This is just a crazy. I'm ready. I'm closing it up. This just is more aggravating because of extreme stupidity and misinformation than anything else. Not on you, the moo, but on this study. And you don't don't let these studies soak in because you'll you'll lose your your sanity because of this. I agree with most of what it says about cholesterol uh, that it's a myth. It has no correlation with heart disease, inflammation, and oxidation does. Well, from what I'm seeing here is this study is ridiculous at all points. Cholesterol is well known to be the body's main antacid and is used primarily for that purpose. Look at the steroids that are, have a pathway through cholesterol. They're all used as antacids, anti-inflammatories. Uh, oxidation, yeah, a natural process. Ionization, yeah, a natural process. But I'm saying that all this is theories and so these guys uh, don't, don't go along with that. Uh, we do find plaque lipids 
You'll find them growing on the eye. You'll find them in tumors. You will find plaque lipids. Why? And again, going back to acidosis. Uh, based on these studies, any person who eats largely carbohydrate-based meals, particularly those containing sugars and snacks with carbohydrate-based meals spread throughout the day, as the latest advice suggests we should, could lose up to half their immunity to disease for much of the walking day. I, I, you know what? I'm not even going to finish reading this, Moo, because it'll just piss me off because of the stupidity, and I hope the hell you did not buy into that. These people are amongst the crawlers on the ground, as far as I'm concerned. Sorry about that, but I just had to turn this back on and address this, because I'll tell you what, these people, when they get their cancers, uh, just get all their names, and all of you guys remember the names, so when they get cancer, if they come to you, say, sorry, can't help you. It takes a fruit diet, and of course, that's going to destroy your immunity. What do we see with fruits? Nothing but cure, cure, cure. How many cancer people have come to this clinic trying to our health programs and have eliminated their cancers on these health programs? Can't even count them. Didn't lose their immunity because of that, did they? You have to understand, crap like this is just what it is. It's just crap. So you guys have a nice day. Don't buy the crap. Have fun. You create your own awareness out there. You create the truth. This is why I need your help. You, All of you guys have dispelled this in the last year. Hands down. Crap. See ya.